First, let us find out more about personal pronouns. Here you see an overview of the personal pronouns. Ik, do, or yo, hij, zij, or ze, and ut, wij, or we, jim, zij, or ze. Depending on the person you are talking to, you've seen that we have two forms for the singular you. Do and yo. Yo is used as a polite form to casual acquaintances, strangers, superiors, and in general to persons a generation older. Now, some pronouns have an emphatic or stressed form as well as a non stressed form. For example, she versus se. She is the stressed form, se the non-stressed form. Ze wennet in Denemarken. She lives in Denmark. The emphasis being on Denmark. Zij wennet in Denemarken. She lives in Denmark. The emphasis is on she. The same applies to zij and ze, meaning they. Wer wen je ze? Where do they live? Where you say? Where do they live? Now there's one more pronoun with an emphatic or stressed form as well as a non-stressed form. We and the. We is the stressed form. The the non-stressed form. We have a cat. We have a cat. We have a cat. We have a cat. When the pronoun do, you informal, follows the verb, they merge into a single word. The pronoun turns into sto or st at the end of the verb and becomes part of the verb form. The difference between sto and st is that sto is stressed and st is non-stressed. Dobist case. You are case. Wa bist do? Who are you? Wa bist? Who are you? When hij follows the verb and it doesn't carry stress, we use er. Hij wennet in Dokkum. He lives in Dokkum. Where wennet hij? Where does he live? Where wennet er? Where does he live? Hij komt mooi de bus. He will get here by bus. Hoe komt hij? How will he get here? Hoe komt er? How will he get here? 